Hello guys, in this video we'll talk about some tricks using collection. Now these are not exactly tricks, but these are hidden features most of you don't know about it. So what's that? Uh, let me create a list here. So let's define a list, we'll say integers, and we'll say values equal to new array list, and we'll say again integers, since uh, after Java 1.7 you don't have to specify the type of generics while instantiation. But for this example, I need that, so we'll go for it. Now, once you got the list, the only way, or the way you can add list elements is we can say values.add, and we can specify, let's say, 56. We can say values.add, we can specify, let's say, 67. And values.add, we can use 90. So this is one way of inst instantiating your, or adding values to your list. So in order to print, we can use multiple things. We can use uh, iterator, you can use enhanced for loop. Just to make it simple, we'll use enhanced for loop here and we'll say values. And here, let me print the values, we'll say i. And now, if I run this, the output is 56, 67, and 90. But let's say, uh, I know the values. So why to use this adds here, if I know the values? So what I can do is I can just comment this part and in, in, the, the, uh, in instantiation itself, we can assign the values. So in order to do that, we can simply say it is arrays dot as list, and we can specify those values here, 56 comma 67 dot uh, comma 90. So this is one way of instantiation of your list by adding values itself. So while creating the object, you are assigned the values because this as list will give you the object of add a list with this value. All right, so these are, there are multiple ways of creating a list and adding values. But this is only applicable when you know the values. But what if you don't know the values? So in that scenario, let's go back to our previous thing, which is new add a list. Achha, uh, let me just uh, show the output of this, just to make it sure it's working. So let's save. Uh, okay. Let's run this. If I run this, out, the output is same, right? Now from this, let's get back to the new add a list. And we'll say again integer. Now, so if you know the values in, uh, if, you, if, if you want to add elements while creating the object itself, so you can use a new trick. And that trick is something called as double braces. So this is called as double braces instantiation. Now in this, what it, how it works is, this part here, this part is called as anonymous inner class. So if you don't know what is anonymous inner class, you can check out my previous video. You can search for anonymous, inter, in, in, anonymous inner class in maybe in interface or I have a different playlist for that. So just search for inner classes. So when, when you, once you create an object and if you provide this thing here, this, this is called as anonymous inner class. And this part, this curly basis here from this to this, this is called as instantiation initializers. So in this, what we can do is we can simply say add 56, no need to specify the variable name, of course it is values, add 67, and we can say add 90. So this is another way of uh, adding elements. And if I run this now, the output is still same. So this, this two things here, this is double braces, this is, these are new things. So this outer bracket here, this is your inner class, anonymous inner class. And this inner bracket here, this is your instantiation initializers. So every time you create an object, it will call this instantiation initializer blocks. So this is newly introduced concept in Java. I don't know which version, but it is newly introduced. And now if you run this, output will be the same, which is 56 and all those values. Clear? So this is new trick in Java. So that is from this video. Uh, so if you like this video, do uh, do thumbs up there and do subscribe for the further videos. Thank you so much for watching.